Well, in this activity we're going to be examining average rates of change as an introduction to study of calculus as sort of the mathematics of change. So as you can see, based on this, uh, based on the skateboarder, that his position is changing all the time. And we're looking for mathematics that will describe that. When it comes to average rates of change, you'll see the two sections of motion that the skateboarder is experiencing are quite different. Believe it or not, we can select places where the average rates of change are going to be identical. And so, just to drive the point home, calculus is really could be looked at as being the mathematics of change. And in this activity, we're going to be examining the average rates of change. In particular, we want to have a look at the mechanics of calculating average rates of change so that we can go on to calculate instantaneous rates of change.